what's up guys and today we are doing a video of yeah a nerf um a nerf stereotypes of nerfers using this gun the both the zo the nerf zombie strike bow strike. Um, as you can see, I have all of my nerf guns sorted out there. And yeah. Oh, what the hell's happening to the camera? <laughs> oh. Um, so, the first one is going to be the Long Ranger. So, the Long Ranger. We'll try and hide in a bush about at least 15 meters away from their target. So the action they would use is trying to try and snipe. Because this is quite a silent gun. Trust me. That feels good to be a guest. Uh, anyway, um, so this gun is pretty lightweight. Yeah, it's pretty lightweight. You could carry it on your back, but it'd be incredibly, incredibly uncomfortable. Anyway, so the are links. Well, the were links. Yeah, the are links. So you can do this. You can get the bandolier and do this. So there's links here. Links there, links there. There and there. So you can put the bandolier on and strap it over you. Then like I've always had the band a little like this. When we stuck like that, we bang 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 like then you can just take out your darts and reload. Just like that. Anyway, fire test. So you can see my wall there just in my radiator. Saw that, but that was very quick. So this is with the bandolier on. So I'm shooting beyond the camera. And we're out. The only bad thing is it's not automatic. If it was to be automatic. Personally, I would put a mag in the here and then it would be like lock and load way away. So it's in and then bang and then bang. So all of them would load and then bang, 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 holding the trigger. But then it's not as live as nothing like this bad boy, the resin. So it's nothing like the Rapid ECS-12. This gun is a fully automatic. Stock extending. Um, thing there. And it's got a barrel extension. So, for example, I could put maybe a few barrel extensions on. But this is what it's actually like. So, we can see the gun. Uh, I'm going to be shooting in front of the camera now, so lay it back a bit, I hope you can see, I'll just be shooting using the 
boxes. So that was my alarm. So this is the difference between the Rapid ECS-12 and the Bow Strike. So you can see the radiator there. Listen to that rev. This is fully automatic though, and it's quite a big gun. Well, it was when I first got this. It's kind of portable. Because you can like hang the mag there, close that in, and carry it like this. Or you can shove the mag in and carry it like that. But I'd always carry mine like this. Like this. There is one gun that I would really like. It's it's uh, the one that's uh it looks like a bag of like a suitcase and then it goes transform. I think it's the deployant or something. But yeah, that that was the rapid UCS twelve right there. It's four C batteries, then this is going to be the bad one. So I'll just collect these parts, and they're all hard dots. So, we are just gently pressing them in. Which reloads it. The thing about this, it's more that's more portable and that's faster. It's, just, it's a nice gun. Just hasn't got the the right kind of style. So only you see how long the video has been on for. Okay, seven minutes. Well, fine. Yeah, okay. We've got we've got eight minutes left of this video. Second stereotype is a sniper. Same thing, stock up. So I'm gonna let you test out the sight if you've never seen it before. That's the site. That's what I am going to be seeing. It's a pretty nice gun. Pretty nice site. I like it. This is the long shot site, by the way. That's what I will be seeing. And then it's just going to have a scope. But the Demolitus, I mean, stock is the only one that I have. So that is the only stock that I've been using. Snipers tend to have skeletal stocks. Like that. Just like the demolisher. This is a very good gun when it comes to sniping. Let's try and I'm just gonna make this go down. Uh, so there it is. I'm going to try and stand on that chair. You can actually see the whole thing. But yeah, that is the gun. So you have to pull back behind.
in the scope and then you go kind of loosen up your hand in the back here. And then you kind of look forward. And BAM! That is particularly quiet. Unless you snag it on a twig. Yeah. Snipers won't necessarily have something like that, but they can. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna do a targeting practice with this. Oh, we've got four dots. We'll load them. No worry. the rain. Could I do some fire practice? And the fire the radiator. So you can see the radiator there. Right, so this is what it looks like to me. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. That's a final demonstration. Very good range. And that. And then the other stereotype. Is the quick fire assault person. They would have something a bit like this. They always try and attach a second drink. But if they're gonna go, go through bullets hard, like go they are going to the second drink. This is a Nerf Star Wars gun, so keep that in mind. Um, about that. This secondary is too good for me, so I'm not going to use that. I would use something a bit like a side strike on one of these dark packs. Dark strike is a very reliable gun. You can trust it for range, definitely. And that is the good thing about that as a side arm. But the problem is, you can only fit about nine darts in the holster. Alright? So, this is what I love to do. So, the assault, the close up assault person would wear something like this. They would have not nerf, nerf mods on their goods. You have something that gives them good vision. So, the, for example, this is just an example. They put something like sunglasses. Like a sunglasses lens. On there, or they wear sunglasses. They would probably wear the sunglasses. And then, like, so I put them on and then, like, so, but they would also have, they wouldn't have a sword, but they would always have a backup, backup gun, like a third gun. That is why they should use this. That vest, yep. That's why they should use it. Do backups. Probably use for that is the cross.